Hey, what's up you guys and welcome to OMG Games. I'm Gene over here and uh, it's Thursday so it's another gaming news day. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Now the first thing you might want to go ahead and do is congratulate Battlefield 3 for reaching 8 million copies sold. This was announced by the C CFO, sorry about that, of EA, Eric Brown, and he announced it at the Baird uh, Technology Conference at San Francisco. So, you know, it's really cool, really awesome. About 12 million copies have been shipped. Only 8 million have been sold. Well, not only. 8 million is a lot. So, congratulations EA and congratulations Battlefield 3. It is a great game. By the way, be expecting gameplay for this game. Just saying. Now, the next news is about uh, Super Mario Galaxy and how it probably won't be heading over to the 3DS for those of you who were wanting to get it for a 3DS or were expecting it to be in it. See, the thing is, Nintendo, before they actually made Super Mario 3D Land, went ahead and tried out to see how Super Mario Galaxy would look in a 3DS screen. They went ahead and got the measurements of the size of the 3DS screen and, and experimented just there and see how it would look. And apparently, Mario looks like a little speck, meaning he looks really small and it's really hard to notice him on the screen, which will cause a lot of problems. Therefore, Nintendo probably won't be making Super Mario Galaxy for the 3DS unless they find a way to solve that problem. Of course, there's still Super Mario 3D Land, which is an amazing game, so yeah, you guys should definitely check out Super Mario 3D Land, as it is awesome. And now the last news are about Gran Turismo 5 Spec 2. What is that? You're probably wondering right now. Well, the thing is, in Japan, they're going to go ahead and release a new sort of golden edition or special edition or like game of the year edition, I guess, of Gran Turismo 5. It's going to be come, it's going to come with the official Gran Turismo 5 game with the version point two update and it's going to be coming with a DLC called Complete Pack which brings a bunch of stuff. It costs about 4980 yen in Japan and uh yeah, so if you just happen to live in Japan, love Gran Turismo and just so happen to click on my video and still be watching, then uh yeah, go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and buy Gran Turismo 5. It is awesome. And those were all the news for today. I know the lighting of the video looked pretty weird today. You know, it's just my other lights decided to be stupid and not work on me today. But, eh, you know, what can I do? Anyway, uh, this was your news for Thursday. So, yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday for some news. Meanwhile, I have a bunch of other gameplay coming uh, these following days and weeks and months and hopefully years. So, I'll see you guys later.